Hello everybody! Here we are at my place on the Magnetowan River. Uh, it is cold out today. Uh, winter kind of left. It was seeming to be an early spring. We had maple sap buckets out. We did a boil down to make some of that sweet, sweet Canadian liquid gold maple syrup. And uh, a lot of the snow melted and bam, all of a sudden it seems like it's pretty much winter again. We're gonna have some cold temps on the way. Um, I just wanted to give a bit of an update though. Uh, everybody's probably seen some changes with my channel um, with the podcast. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is honestly for you, uh, for my subscribers, for my followers. Um, I really appreciate uh, the uh, the support that you all give, the positive comments, and just that you, you've given my content a try and you're watching it. I do my best to to bring stuff to you and, and you know live my passions and do these big adventures and film them. And I just really thought the podcast would be kind of a, a bit more of an inside look, a bit more of an opportunity for you to just kind of hear me tell some stories um, and, uh, you know, kind of a curated version of uh, what I do and what other people do who are in the outdoor space or that have, you know, made a life for themselves off of uh, doing outdoor related things and whatnot. So we have some more exciting guests on the way as well. Um, so please stay tuned for Baird Country. Every Monday at 6 p.m. it's dropping and uh, it's also available on the audio podcast platform, Spotify, Apple, and the like uh, under Baird Country. So uh, this week, so tomorrow, so this week we have Joe Robinette who's gonna be on there. I managed to track him down. He's been, uh, he's been a little quieter on uh, YouTube than usual. So I wanted to see what's going on in his world. Had a great chat with him. Uh, Bob Azumi we have coming up, uh, Hap Wilson, and also the blacksmith that you've seen me canoe down river to meet up with, um, who's a very, very interesting guy. So yeah, some cool podcasts to come. I also wanted to give you an update on exactly what I'm gonna be doing in 2024 so i am leaving in a couple days to go to the yukon i'm meeting up with a guy named ryan mcgilvery who you'll probably see a podcast with as well and ryan is a yukon a real sourdough he owns a company called yukon expedition sleds that make super super durable plastic sledges that are used in search and rescue that are used for uh, backcountry travel of all kinds in the winter in the far north. They can stand up to extreme cold and abuse. And we are going to ride deep into the mountains into a lake trout lake that is supposed to just hold giants, likely the best ice fishing lake or just the best fishing lake in the entire Yukon Territory. Um, and we are going to do more or less a snowmobile expedition to reach it. Uh, we're going to post up there for some time, fish the lake, all in. We'll be on the trail, winter camping, enjoying that uh, beautiful late winter, you know, Yukon uh, life in the outdoors. And hopefully we catch some giant lake trout as well. So that should be cool. Um, then this spring, man, it's going to be crazy. I have, uh, you know, I know some people uh, really like the family stuff, the trips I do with my family, which I love doing. I love that I can actually find a way to, you know, I'd be doing all that stuff anyways with the family, but some of the longer stuff, because I'm able to justify it by making some YouTube videos, I get to spend more time with the family and my kids. And that's great because honestly, one of the hardest parts now that I have kids, when I was on alone, when you saw my Ungava Peninsula documentary um, called Life and Death in the Arctic, I didn't have kids at that time. Um, and I was away for something like three and a half, four months that year alone doing these adventures and I still travel. So being able to uh, go on the road for five, six weeks with my family, do canoe trips with them on some of these longer trips has just been awesome. Um, and by the way, uh, for everyone that's seen Life and Death in the Arctic, I filmed that in 2016 um, and that was arguably one of the craziest or most dangerous things I've ever done. I went on a loan the same year. I also paddled the Porcupine River in, uh, uh, northern Saskatchewan by way of Northwest Territories. And uh, that was a two week trip as well. So it was quite the year. Um, probably, you know, uh, definitely on a loan, although it was more suffering as in um, just kind of starvation uh, because in the real survival nature of it, um, you know, they can't let you die out there. So they do have people, not that it's super safe, but they have people there on standby ready to extract you. 
Um, I didn't have that on the Agava Peninsula and probably the fear and the danger uh, was more, but alone was more of like a brutal, you know, mental challenge and, and just emotionally grueling with, with, the, with the hunger and the not knowing when's it gonna end. You know, on Angava, I could be like, I'm running out of food. Okay, well, let's bust out the maps. I have X amount, if I break it down and I do X amount of kilometers a day and I have X amount of food left, calories for that, I can do it. Well, on alone, there wasn't really a plan um, because you didn't know whether you'd win the next day or it would be, you know, another month. It was like a shipwreck scenario out there. Um, so those were those kind of uh, differences, both very challenging in their own right, but uh, definitely more like long-term suffering on alone, even though it was an amazing experience, definitely like the type two fun kind of experience and definitely more kind of fear and real danger, uh, uh, you know, on the Angava trip. Uh, but anyways, um, I am going to be doing a amazing Arctic expedition, a solo three week Arctic expedition to dissect the mainland barring grounds of the Northwest Territories and Nunavut north of the tree line on an advanced level whitewater river that includes a giant portage. I'm gonna end at the Arctic coast. There's class three rapids, there's Arctic char, there's meter long lake trout. There will be muskox, polar bears. I might even see a caribou migration. Uh, that is gonna be amazing. Before that, I have a backcountry spring trout fishing trip with none other than, than with none other than my brother Ted and Sean James of Myself Reliance, who seems to be a bit of a tradition. Hopefully, Nate, Nate uh, at Nate Muskoka there on Instagram joins us again. And that definitely is a spring uh, tradition in my neck of the woods. Get out, get into the backcountry for trout. I'm doing an extreme level whitewater canoe trip the same month as well on a superior North Shore tributary. I'm gonna be uh, collabing with some awesome YouTubers that you might or might not know. Stay tuned for that. And then after all that is said and done, a couple, I'm gonna do, uh, oh, I'm gonna do a shorter Dad and Wesley trip. Um, uh, Hudson is such a, a, a a high energy kid it's such an awesome kid and uh you know i feel like though trying to wrangle him and how busy he is i don't always get the the time i get to spend with wesley and so i'm gonna do probably like a three four day trip this spring just with wesley a backcountry canoe trip just me and him and then the whole family is gonna go back to a remote lake that you probably saw on our tv show home in the wild which is streaming on disney plus and we're gonna go back there for uh, to do some bass fishing and yeah, just basically fishing and explore this beautiful remote lake um, where we were looking potentially for properties on our TV show and just exploring it. Um, and so we're gonna be doing that. And then the whole family is gonna be going north again in August and September and doing probably a 12 day canoe trip in the Yukon. Uh, Tori's gonna be uh, doing a trip with her sister, a backpacking trip in the Yukon as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a fly-in hunt. I won't be hunting. I'm going to be joining some residents on a hardcore uh, mountain hunt while we're there. And then we're just going to be living out of a, a remote log cabin completely off-grid in the Yukon for, uh, you know, several weeks all in between as a family. So probably going to be six or seven weeks in the Yukon as well. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, I have an amazing big documentary coming out. It has been a huge project. It's still going to take a while longer, but it is going to tell my entire story of the last 18 years of doing uh, hardcore uh, remote expeditionary trips in the Canadian North and Alaska. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, you're also going to see another year in the wild, which will be a, a documentary covering um, the, you know, my my all of my stuff from 2024 and some more stuff too i want to put out a full doc on heart of the yukon um now i had a lot of comments on my heart of the yukon trip saying heart is spelled h-e-a-r-t not h-a-r-t well it was a bit of a play on words you see um heart is the name of the river i was paddling in the yukon h-a-r-t and also it's geographically in the heart h-e-a-r-t of the yukon uh, the town of Mayo, their slogan is Heart of the Yukon because it's very central as well. And uh, the Gwich'in indigenous name for the Heart River translate to Heart, H-E-A-R-T as well. So it could be a misspelling. It could be named after a prospector 
um, in the Klondike Gold Rush area, but he never uh, prospected the heart. So we nobody really knows, but I thought Heart of the Yukon was a great series. And um, man, what a trip that was. So stay tuned for a full dock. It's probably gonna be one of my long ones, about six hours long. That's gonna be more or less all the episodes together with uh, some edits and a little bit of un, uh, not before seen footage too. So yeah, I uh, have probably my my largest trip, my largest year, one of my biggest years doing crazy trips to date since probably I did Ungava and Alone. Um, last year was a big one too, for sure, doing the Heart River and the Stikine and, and other things too. So yeah, please stay tuned for all this. Again, I really appreciate all your support. I couldn't do this without you. I, you know, if there's anything else you want to know on the podcast, I really want to bring you that behind the scenes kind of curated look um, at what other influencers do, more tips, uh, the depth of what, uh, you know, real uh, uh, survival and bush skills are. Um, I go into some of that in an upcoming one with Hap Wilson, but I really want to hear what else might you like to hear on the podcast? Uh, who might you like to see me interview on the podcast? Uh, please let me know. I just, I really want to, you know, do the best job I can for everybody. Um, and again, your support's much appreciated. Please check out my social media handles at JB Adventurer on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Jim Baird Adventurer. Uh, my wife, Tori, is at Tori Goes Outside. She's got some amazing stuff, more behind the scenes stuff that you haven't seen in the videos. A lot of it with the kids too, uh, which is really cool. And, uh, I, I'd really appreciate it too if uh, everybody could just um, share my channel with your friends, with your family, anyone who you think might be interested. Please share my podcast, Baird Country. Uh, they say when you want something to ask for it, I guess. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'd really appreciate your help with that. Thanks again and stay tuned. It is going to be an absolutely amazing year. Lots for me to do, but man, it's going to be worth it.